How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, another Daz Watches. You guys, uh, ever since I reacted to, you remember the family with the lions, you know, who were like insanely close with them and kept getting bitten and shit? You guys really wanted me ever since then to react to more crazy animal videos at some point. And I found one, and it's called Most Pampered Alligator in the World. I got a feeling this is going to annoy me, because, <laughs> you know, alligators don't require pampering. Uh, they're, they're, they're alligators, so let's watch the video! I'm not sure there's other gators that are getting foot massages and manicures and seem to enjoy it. I'm pretty sure they fucking isn't! Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? She's putting nail varnish. On a croc! I know it's an alligator. Don't be like, Dad, it's not a croc. You keep calling it a croc. If I want to call it a croc, I'm going to call it a croc, okay? I'm not Coyote Peterson. I don't have to be correct. <laughs> I love that guy, by the way. He's insane. Hey. Fuck me. It hissed. Wait, before it hissed, didn't she say something about the alligator enjoying itself? Seem to enjoy it. Hey. Yeah, you know, when I'm, when I'm getting my nails done, I fucking hiss at the woman doing it. <laughs> I don't think the crocodile's having a very nice time. To be honest, alligator, shut up. The thought of being in close contact with an alligator might be terrifying for most people. Yep, that's me. But not for this lady. She's got a fucking jumper on. What, what is the matter with this woman? Why has no one stopped her? Why has no one said, you know what? I think therapy. It's, it needs to be your close friend. You need to be balancing that on your shoulder right now, not a croc wearing matching shirts! I am Angela, and this here is Lily Gator. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the worst name in the world. <laughs> pretty close to being the most pampered gator in the world. She is definitely spoiled. She does have a tiara. Of course she has a fucking tiara. Of course she does! This is when she's wandering around doing what alligators do, that fucking thing ain't gonna stay on, is it? Look at that shit! She has sunglasses. Dressing her up and painting her nails is more fun for me. So... Of course it's more fucking fun for you, because you're insane! All right, you get pleasure out of it. I'm going to put Lily's brand new dress on her. Please bite her face. Just bite it, just the nose. You can easily do it from that angle and it'll all be over. You're all right, it's all right. Stop, stop, stop. You're all right. She doesn't understand what stop means. She's not a dog. She's a ferocious beast killer. Alligator! I just didn't understand what stop means. This is a woman who has clearly got this reptile, this fierce, ferocious predator on her lap and is convinced that she enjoys it too. It's not. It's this grown ass woman who is enjoying it and getting pleasure out of making this reptile fucking princess material. Good girl. Good girl. There you go, Lily. I've seen some shit. You know, I, I've, I've been doing this like a few years now, about a couple of years. What now I've been doing does watches? That time, I've never seen anything quite like this. Look at that, that poor fucking uh, alligator. Probably just wants to chill out in a pond or something, you know? And here it is playing fucking dress up. In all honesty, I just don't think this is good for the animal. Like, it's, it's, it's just pleasuring her and her psychosis. Hi. Hi, Lily. This is Lauren. She is Lily's. Lily is her god gator. God gator? She... <laughs> she... She's a god gator. Like, like a god daughter or god son. But she's a god gator. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Woo! Shit. Her whenever I have to travel. You're looking very pretty in your dress, Miss Lily. <laughs> I prefer to stay on this end. <laughs> she trusts her mother at the other end. She has no desire to eat you or me or anyone else. 
She has never bitten anyone. You brushing its fucking teeth. It's one of those videos where you sort of like not surprised, but then you get surprised. You know, it's it constantly surprised you how moronic these people are. To be completely honest. Ever the snappy dresser, Lily Gator causes a stir wherever she goes. We do go on walks with Angela when she puts her on the leash and she goes for walks. I get some crazy reactions when I have her outside on the leash. Obviously, most people are afraid. If they hear her hissing, most people think that alligators cannot be domesticated, and they're 100% they're accurate. But they are also can be very docile. And I do disagree with the conception that they can't have feelings. The problem is, is, you know, you've just admitted right there that alligators cannot be domesticated. They're not a, a, an animal you can really bargain with, you know? If a dog bites you um, by accident or by other means, uh, you can manage to bargain with the dog and, and show the dog that that's wrong. An alligator don't give two shits. It doesn't have um, that higher brain power of understanding basic communication. All it understands is that that could be food, I'm going to fucking kill it. Far from being an advocate for alligators as pets, Angela uses Lily to discourage irresponsible owners. I've always loved alligators, and about six years ago, I happened upon some teenagers that had an alligator. Its conditions were horrible, so I rescued it, got it back to health, and eventually I did have to take it to a sanctuary. Angela knew that she wanted another game. That is fucking unreal. That is fucking unreal. Tiny baby alligator, and she's had a custom dress made for it. I'm sorry! Like, even when I see people who have these little poodles in their bag and shit, and they've got little dresses on, and they paint their claws, I'm just thinking, you're fucking insane. That's a dog. It doesn't matter how small and tiny they are, when you carry them around in, their, in your bag, it's actually bad for their health. Not only can they get overheated in those fucking things, but they need to exercise just like any other dog, okay? You can't just carry a dog round and pamper it like that. It won't get any exercise. It's fucking... These, these owners of these animals are stupid. They don't understand what they're doing. I'm not saying this alligator that the dress is harming it and I doubt it's restricting its movement at all, but it's just fucking stupid. And I would like to know why she thinks this is a good idea. Gator, and she- Oh, fuck my face. Bought Lily as a tiny hatchling. I got her when she was two and a half days old. Why has she got a leash on her at that age? I just don't think that's good for, for, for the alligator. And it's kind of unnecessary when it's the size of a little lizard. She turned four in August and she's been like my baby since. When I first got her, I used to just lay her on my chest here and rock back and forth with her to make her comfortable. And it's something that seems to calm her. Angela's own parents have grown to love Lily too seeing her as part of the family. There are times when I know my father is at dinner with colleagues and I will get the text, send me some pictures of my Grand Gator and he's showing- Grand Gator, okay, so uh, that's where it comes from. I think we're, we're tracking down where the, um, the illness <laughs> comes from. <laughs> her dad calls the alligator, um, it's his Grand Gator. <laughs> Most parents would just love grandkids, uh, you know, I. I really feel that if I brought an alligator into the mix, my parents would probably disown me. And, and I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> Showing her off in her little outfit. It's legal to own a pet gator in Angela's state of Pennsylvania. Is it legal to dress it up in Hello Kitty? I don't think so. But there are other practicalities to consider. Not least the fact that Lily won't be so little forever. No, exactly. You're going to sit there on the sofa with a two-ton alligator on your fucking lap? I don't think so. I hope you try it. I hope you try it and it eats your head. She will continue to grow because she is a female and in captivity. She will 
probably not reach the 10, 12, 15 feet. But Angela is confident that she's doing the right thing. Lily does have a better life with me than she would if she were just wandering around in the wild. How is that possible? <laughs> Out there in the wild, they have vast rivers and lakes and, and natural food. They can hunt. They get proper exercise. They're not on a fucking lead for a start. And they don't have to wake up to the embarrassment that, oh shit, I I'm going to get taken out of my tank by crazy bitch and dressed up like a princess. You know, it it's all in her head, like, that this is best for the creature. And you just know when that alligator gets too big and too dangerous to have, she's going to just get another one and do the same shit with it. Um, there's no predators here. She gets a lot of attention and affection, and I, I really think she likes that. Yeah, she looks fucking swell. She looks like really enjoying life on her pink blanket. But that was it. Um, that was um, <laughs> the most pampered crocodile in the world. I I disagree with this shit. As you can see on this channel, uh, there are other videos. Um, someone who massages her um, patients with snakes and it apparently cures depression. That's maybe one for the future. You know, there, I think there are underlying causes for these things. This one, though, puzzles me because even her mum and dad are in on it. Like, they're, they're, they, um, they call it their grand gator. Um, I, I, just, I just don't understand. <laughs> I'm open-minded, you know. I try and understand everything. And I, I just don't... It's just it's pointless dressing up an alligator. Guys, let me know what you think of this behaviour. I am going to be an upload uh, this weekend. If you don't know what upload is, it was an event started... Uh, by the Sidemen, that group, and KSI. Uh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be doing meet and greets with you guys. It's at Tobacco Dock in London. You can get tickets and stuff. And uh, you come see me and see all the other guys. It's going to be great fun. We're going to have a blast. Also, guys, uh, coming out also today, two videos. I know. It's like Christmas. Um, there's a, a video, a challenge that me and Dave made together. It's pretty fun. Uh, I want to bring more gameplay back to the channel. So be sure to watch that after this. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.